Good to hear that Nathan Cleary's tooth is all okay and he's okay to play on Wednesday night. Let's break down what happened to Latrell. Dave, you have got some details on how it all went down at uh, New South Wales training. Yeah, guys, it was a significant blow, obviously. Uh, the, the Blues wrapped up their Sydney preparations before flying to Adelaide this morning, yesterday, on uh, Sunday afternoon, out at a core stadium. And it was in the very final drill of that session that Latrell Mitchell... Uh, so was slowing down on a running drill and just was starting to break, if you will, um, and he just felt that twinge in the calf. Now, onlookers, as far as the team are concerned, could sense something was wrong with Latrell almost immediately. Um, and from that moment there, it escalated into Latrell going for scans on Sunday night. The Blues couldn't afford to wait. Mm. You know, in club mm. land, they wait to the next day just to see if it settles, but they couldn't afford to wait. They went last night for scans. And the, uh, the truth of the matter came through with Latrell Mitchell mm. just being under too much pressure as far as that calf is concerned. Uh, it's been explained that if it were a grand final this weekend, not Wednesday night, this weekend, Latrell would be a chance to play in that grand final. So it's not at the high end or serious mm. nature, mm. but it's enough to rule out of a state of origin. Yeah, he got the scan that night uh, and mm. they did find something, not a severe tear, but enough, as you said, for an Origin game only two days before, he, he just couldn't play. Now, this is a huge blow, Gordy. Yeah. This is a big blow for a number of reasons. One of the best players in the game, he's in form. And now all the talk's been about Turbo and Latrell and the damage they could possibly do this series. This really hurts New South Wales, doesn't it? Yeah, well, Matty John sat here last Monday and said it's like Meninga and Miles, and I had to tend to agree. What Luttrell can do on a footy field, only Luttrell can do. And it's, it's impossible to defend him for 80 minutes if he gets in that mood. I just don't know whether it's a fatigue sort of injury as well and maybe it's a blessing in disguise because if they do carry him into the game and they mm. lost him in the first five minutes, that would probably be a bigger blow, even though it's a huge blow to bring someone in like Crichton. But that's... Uh, I think mm. it's a shame for State of Origin because I was... Look, he missed last year, even though... You know, it is better for like Queensland, but you want to beat them with their best players out there as well. I think it's a shame too. Reason being, Latrell is, I think, the highest profile player in rugby league. And, yeah. and I like seeing him and his skill and his power in front of a national television audience of, what, three million plus. However, I don't want to overplay how much we are going to miss him because I'm a massive Stephen Crichton fan. He's played in the last three grand finals. He's played key roles in two premierships. Mm. He can hit like nobody's business. Mm. He's smart and he's got that combo I mentioned at the top of the show with the Penrith boys. Mm. So as much as Latrell Mitchell isn't playing, we are so fortunate to have Crichton there. Well, watching Blues train and Buzz is spot on. So Stephen Crichton will now set up with Brian Tottle on the yeah. left side. Mm. So that's a Crichton... Top, uh, combination, but also Jerome Luai plays left yeah. as well. So it's all it's all Penrith. I, I said to Isaiah um, just then that I think everyone's underestimated the the form of Stephen Crichton. He's been oh, amazing. Sure. It's just that Latrell Mitchell is at a different level and, and mm. deserves his shot there. I was, I was a bit disappointed because I was looking forward to seeing Latrell up here against the Hammer. I think there's a, a big mm. size difference, and yep. I thought Latrell could have dominated him, but I think. Crichton will do a good job. And Brad Fiddler and Stephen Crichton in front of the media when they landed in Adelaide. And all the talk was about the superstar player that didn't make the flight. Seeing Latrell explain to the players about it this morning was uh, sort of showed you where his head was and how much he wanted to play. And it just happened right at the end of the session too. So uh, the good thing is it's not too bad. Uh, grade one, whatever he does with South, we've spoken to South Sydney, and, but he'll be right. Four goes well, uh, definitely for the second game. We got the results from the scan late last night. Uh, the decision was made from Latrell this morning. You know, there was a chance that he could come down and train and possibly feel better, but uh, he made the unselfish decision to uh, allow Stephen Crichton to take his position, given that Stephen had been there all week. So I think he thought that was better for the team. It was very emotional. So, like I said, it just showed that you know, where, where he's at at the moment. He wants to play and he wants the best stage and the biggest stage. You lose a lot when you lose Latrell. Uh, but uh, Crit has done good jobs for us in the past and um, he'll do it again. Oh, when I got the call for 18th man, I knew that I had to be ready for anything and I've prepared ever since I came into camp as if I was, if I, as if I was starting. So if anything like this happens, I don't look back and be like, oh, I should have done this, should have done that. Uh, so yeah, I prepared the same way I have before and um, yeah, now that the opportunity is there, um, 
I'm keen for it and I'm, I'm ready to go as well. Yeah, very, very unfortunate for Latrell to be ruled out. Um, such so close to the game, uh, but Stephen Crichton has been in, in really good form. He's a, he's a class player and he, he's made for Origin. Yeah, look, uh, he's a definitely he's a class player, and I suppose having so many Penrith guys around you, like a lot of my Origin career, I played with a lot of Broncos, and under fatigue, you know, when when you run out of words, you don't have time. It can be a look or a system. It's just human nature when you've played and you've defended and you trust so many guys on the inside now. Well, he's got that. Mm. So I know it's a late, late, um, late replacement, mm. but he will slot straight. You, you had a different take. Dave, you spoke about it as well. Is the combinations and so many of the same players from club land, Penrith, yeah. being the New South Wales side. You kind of said to me off the show that sometimes it can be a negative. Yeah. Well, well, well. Well, sometimes when you play with so many guys, you want to go in and it's rep football and it's a different feel. Sometimes it felt like a glorified club game because there were so many Broncos. I think one year there was 10 of us in there. So you got to get that out. And it was probably a question I should have asked Isaiah is, does it feel like that? Or the Penrith hat directly goes in. But I know in the heat of the battle, at the end when fatigue gets in, and if you saw Webke or a guy that you've played so many club mm. games with, you can call a little Bronco play and it'd work. Yeah. Because you can forget the moves. Believe it or not, Buzz, yeah. I forgot a few moves. Did you? Yes. <laughs> I, I tell you the interesting thing, and it was a decision made last Monday to release Campbell Graham from the squad, mm. which has turned out a masterstroke, in that Stephen Crichton was brought in as 18th man and has been able to train yeah. for seven full days with the side. And it shows why that tough decision had to be made with the, the South <coughs> centre, who's probably yeah. been the best centre all year. Yeah. feel sorry for Campbell Graham, because yes. if, yeah. if, if he was 18th man, he gets the start. So, unfortunate for Campbell, but he'll get his time. 